Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and this is the sixth in a six-part series of a final review for my elementary algebra students. In this video, I'll be going over problems from Chapter 7, Rational Expressions and Equations. First problem we have is to simplify a rational expression. The strategy here is to factor the numerator and denominator completely, then try to cancel uh, common factors between the numerator and denominator. Both of these are trinomials. The numerator factors to be x plus 4 times x plus 6. The denominator, x plus 6 times x minus 8. We have a common factor of x plus 6 in the numerator and denominator, leaving us with x plus 4 over x minus 8. Uh, now we'll move on to a division problem. Uh, division problems are similar to uh, multiplication problems. The only difference is that we'll change division to multiplication by replacing the second expression with its reciprocal. Now we have four trinomials to factor here. Uh, multiply to 30 but add to negative 13. That would be x minus 3 and x minus 10. In the denominator, two numbers that multiply to 18 but add to negative 9. Uh, that would be x minus 3 and x minus 6. In the second numerator, uh, two numbers that multiply to 50 but add to negative 15. That's going to be x minus 5 times x minus 10. And in the denominator, two numbers that multiply to 30 but add to negative 11. That's going to be x minus 5 times x minus 6. We'll go ahead and invert this fraction and change the operation to multiplication. Okay, time to start reducing common factors. Uh, x minus 3, let's see, x minus 10, x minus 5, and x minus 6. Everything divides out here, leaving us with a group of 1's in the numerator and denominator. Multiplying straight across, that leaves us with a result of 1. Okay. Uh, subtraction problem. Addition and subtraction are um, pretty involved. We begin by factoring the denominator. This trinomial in the first fraction it will be x plus 6 times x minus 4. The second trinomial that will be x plus 6 times x plus 10. Now we're trying to build up the denominator so that they um, ex are exactly the same. This first fraction is missing in x plus 10. So we'll multiply numerator and denominator by x plus 10. The second fraction is missing in x minus 4, so we'll do the same top and bottom. We'll multiply by x minus 4. Now the denominators have the same three factors, so we've reached a common denominator. We'll multiply out this numerator. We'll distribute the 4 in the second numerator. Uh, x plus 5 times x plus 10 is x squared plus 15x plus 50. Distribute the 4, and we get 4x minus 16. Now the di difference between adding and subtracting, when you have a subtraction, this minus sign, this subtraction, gets distributed through this numerator. So our 4x will be a negative 4x, but the 16 will be a positive 16. We'll collect all of this over one denominator, and now it's time to combine like terms. 15x and negative 4x and 50 and positive 16. Combine those together and we get x squared plus 11x plus 66 over the common denominator. Now from here you should try to factor this numerator but this trinomial is prime so there's nothing else we can do here. On to solving a rational equation and uh, we want to be careful not to confuse this type of problem with the one we just did. Uh, although we're concerned with figuring out what a common denominator would be, or what the least common multiple of these denominators is, we're trying to get rid of the denominators, not build them up. We'll begin in the same way by factoring all the denominators here. We just have to factor x squared minus three, uh, plus 3x plus 2. And our common denominator will be x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now we have to be careful if we're extraneous solutions. Uh, we know that x at the end of this problem cannot be negative 2 or negative 1. 
those two values cause one or more denominators to equal zero, we know we can't divide by zero. So what we need to do here is multiply each fraction, each term, by the common denominator, x plus 2, x plus 1. So straight across, notice I'm not changing the denominator at all. I'm just multiplying in the numerator. And now we look to clear the fractions. x plus 2 cancels with x plus 2, leaving just 3 times x plus 1. And the second fraction on the left, the left side, the x plus 1's divide out. And on the right side, x plus 2 and x plus 1 divides out completely, leaving just x plus 3. So the resulting equation is shown here. Uh, we'll distribute the 3 and the negative 1. Time to combine like terms, 3x minus x and 3 minus 2. This is a linear equation, so we want to get all the variable terms to the left side. Subtract x from both sides, and we get x plus 1 equals 3. Uh, collect the constant terms on the right-hand side, and we get our solution of x equals 2. Now we go back and we check our restricted list. And we said that x couldn't be negative 2, but positive 2 is okay, so our solution set is 2. If this had been a negative 2, we would have to omit that solution, and we would write that there was no solution. All right, on to the last problem. This is an example of what we call a work rate problem. Dylan can mow a lawn in 40 minutes while Alicia takes 50 minutes to mow the same lawn. If Dylan and Alicia work together using two lawn mowers, how long would it take them to mow the lawn? We're given information about two separate people doing the same job. Now we want to see how long it takes them together. Uh, the following table is pretty helpful to use. We'll begin by filling in the time alone, which for Dylan was 40 minutes and for Alicia was 50. The work rate is the reciprocal of the time alone. So 1 over the time. Uh, for Dylan, that's going to be 1 over 40. That means he can do 1 40th of the lawn in one minute. For Alicia, that's going to be 1 over 50. Uh, time together, how long does it take them together? Well, if we knew that, this problem would be done. So we'll use the variable t for time. Uh, you can use whatever variable you like, but we usually use t for time. The portion of the job completed is found by multiplying the work rate by the time they're working. 1 40th times t is t over 40. 1 50th times t is t over 50 for Alicia. And the portion done by Dylan plus the portion done by Alicia should be 100% of the lawn, or simply the number 1. So our equation will be t over 40 plus t over 50 equals 1. To solve this equation, we need to figure out what our common denominator would be. And the lowest common denominator for 40 and 50 is 200. So we'll multiply by 200 on the left side and on the right side of the equation. Uh, 40 divides into 200 five times. 50 divides into 200 four times. So our new equation is 5t plus 4t equals 200. Combine the like terms. 9t equals 200. And we'll finish by dividing both sides by 9. Uh, 200 over 9, that doesn't divide evenly. So we need to make this into a mixed number. Uh, by dividing, we could see that 200 over 9 is the same as 22 and 2 ninths. So it would take them 22 and ni 2 ninths minutes working together. If you have any questions or comments for me, you can leave a comment on this video, or you could reach me through the contact page on my website. The address is georgewoodbury.com, and if you'd like a copy of the entire review that we've used, or the answer key, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.